right, and welcome to another edition of Sports Monday. I am your host, Paul Lopez. On Saturday, athletes from across the country converge at the Marion Jones Sporting Complex. The weather-worn tracks presented its own challenges for these young competitors, but the show must go on. Here's more from the Atlib Track and Field Championship. The heat was on and the racetrack was breaking away, but these college athletes were not deterred. Three female runners are at the starting line for the 400 meter race. Down to the last 100 meters, Kendall Morgan has a significant lead. She crossed the finish line in first place, securing the gold medal. She also ran away with the gold in the 100, 200, 4x100, high jump, shot put, and javelin. That's seven gold medals. You're your only competition, so if you see somebody else as a competition, that's nice, but I always remember yourself. Yeah. And do not give up on the line, finish through. As long as you finish, you're a winner. This is a male 400 meter with five runners at the starting line. In the distance, it's Kimar Wagner in the lead. He finishes first, clocking in at 52.3 seconds, followed by Akin Aguilar and Keith Jones. CCJ athlete Kevin Jones topped the male long jump competition and the male triple jump with 5.99 meters and 12.49 meters respectively. I came here, came prepared to compete, not really expecting to win, but I came to compete because I know I have the level of intensity needed to compete. This was an exciting one to watch, the male 5 kilometer race. Seven runners took to the track for the 12 and a half laps. Six laps in, Patrick Williams and Wilbert Shaw have the advantage over the other runners. 200 meters from the finish line, Williams make a dash, but Shaw takes over at the bend and sprinted his way to the top of the podium. The last 100 meter, that's where I usually save all that energy that I have, you know, stored. So I'll use that for my sprint on the last 100 meter to finish off as best as I can. On Sunday, the Belize Canoe Association hosted its annual Upstream River Challenge from Halova Creek Bridge all the way to Barrel Boom Village. Nine teams battled the upstream river currents and winds to the finish line. We were at the start and finish of the race. Here's more from that one. The starting horn sounds off, signaling the start of this upstream river challenge. Nine teams stretched across this natural waterway. Minutes from the starting line, two teams are neck to neck. Daniel Gregorio, James Alford, and Wilbert Daniels paddling for the Belize Coast Guard, and Christopher Guides, Jermaine Sanchez, and Sergio Juan racing for Ty Cobb and Son Wild. At Manante Lookout, these two teams remain in the lead, pressing towards Barrel Boom Village. And here at the finish line in Boom, the Belize Coast Guard paddlers hold a comfortable lead to win the race in 2 hours, 11 minutes and 20 seconds. The Tycho and Sons paddlers emerged 2 and a half minutes later to secure second place. They were followed by Canoe Belize It in third, more than 7 minutes later. Friday night inside the Belize City Civic Center was all about BEBL's defending champions, the Venice Belize Hurricanes. They faced off against former champions, the San Pedro Tiger Sharks, in this season opener. Here are some stats from the game and some highlight reels courtesy of the Hurricanes team. The Venice Belize Hurricanes dominated the San Pedro Tiger Sharks with a final score of 101 to 73 points respectively. BEBL rookie Amar Ross led the Hurricanes with 23 points, averaging 56% from the three-point line and 50% from the field. Rookie Sidibe Burama also had a night for the Hurricanes with a total of 16 rebounds and 13 points. Talk about efficiency on both ends of the court. Player of the match for the Tiger Sharks goes to captain Jihad Wright, who finished with 19 points, 11 rebounds, and a 72% shooting average from the field. Well, folks, that's all we have for you in tonight's coverage of Sports Monday. Catch you in the next one.